Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about AWS EIC endpoint that is EC2 Instance Connect. So what is this and what are the benefits? And it is a newly launched feature that is being, I think on 13th of June, 2023, it is being launched. So what's the benefit and how we can utilize this EIC endpoint? So as you know, now when you create an EC2 instance in order to have like, uh, you know, uh, connect to that. We need a public IP, then only we can have through the bastion, we can connect it. But uh, this EIC removes that requirement. We can connect with the private IP also. So I will show you in the uh, like lab session, like how to do that. So you can see there's a user, it creates a like a, a endpoint service. So that connects to the, this, EC2 instance connect endpoint. Then these are in the private subnets. We have the instances that is EC2 instance that we are having. So then these EC2 instances we need not to assign any public IP. So just an introduction. So it allows you to connect to your instance and other VPC resources from the internet. And with this EAC endpoint, we did not need any uh, internet gateway in the VPC or public IP address to our resource or neither a Bastion host or any agent to connect to the resources. So it will help, like it is basically identity-based, uh, network-based access control, providing the isolation and logging whatever is required based upon our organization security. Basically the IAM roles that is being assigned, the credentials that is being assigned, that is very important over here. So it has uh, like two modes, one with the CLI also we can use it. Uh, for that, we need to create a secure WebSocket tunnel from our workstation, or else uh, we can establish uh, like a loop address and all we can do it. Or we can second from the console, we can do it. So I'll just show you how easily we can use it from the console, uh, like no need of having this uh, authentication things, not passing the keys and all, nothing is required. Just you need to log into your console. And if in your IAM, if you are giving the access permissions to the use the EC2 instance, you will be able to access the EC2 instance without using the public IP. So let's uh, move on to the console. So you can see over here, first of all, I will go to the VPC. And in the VPC, I will create one endpoint because it takes time to create. So I'll just create an endpoint, my endpoint one. And I will choose over here EC2 instance connect endpoint. Now here, the VPC that I'm choosing over here, that is the default one. And there are some additional settings are also there. No need to go to that. I'm using over here security group. I will just show you this security group. What are the things that are being allowed because this security group I'm using for most of the instance. Basically it allows HTTPS and SSH. So if you want, if you're doing a fresh security group, make it sure these inbound rules are already defined. So I'll just show you the inbound rules. So these are the inbound rules are being defined over here. Just a second, okay. So you can see over here. So I'll just click on edit in one rule so you can view it properly. So you can see, actually I'm allowing all the IPs and all you can define your custom IP also like your your client machine IP and also only from that system you can access that EC2 instance, the private IP through this EC2 endpoints. So this is what basically I'm doing over here. So you can just define this too. 443 and SSH. Okay, coming back to this one endpoint creation. So I'm choosing this security group, this one, launch visit four, and a subnet, you can choose the any one, A, B, C, whichever you want to choose it. And let's go down, create endpoint. Okay, so you can see over here, there are different states are there. It is pending till now. So it will take some time. In the meantime, we can just go to our EC2 instance and we can run one EC2 instance. Let's click here, launch an EC2 instance. Okay, so give some name to it. 
my EC2. Okay, my EC2 over here, and I'm using this Amazon Linux image, printer only. So instance typed, I will not change anything, just a key pair value is required. So just I'm choosing my previous one, otherwise you can create a new queue, new key pair yourself. Now here I will just, you can see auto assign public IP is enabled. So security group, I will choose over here existing one. So I will just choose over here my launch visit four. And then rest of the things, let it be the same. And I will just go to the edit over here. VPC by default that we have. Subnet, it's your choice if you want to choose it. I will choose this one. And you can see over here, auto assign IP. So I will just disable it. It will not give any public IP to this EC2 instance. So security group selected. Now everything is done. Let's launch instance. Okay, so in the meantime, we will just check our endpoint whether it's ready or not. So it's still pending, just our refresh over here. It's still pending. It takes uh, almost like two to three minutes in order to create the endpoint. Okay, so our EC2 instance is ready. Now, if you click on this one, you can see over here, uh, there is no public IP is being assigned, just a private IP. Okay, normally when you run, you will be getting a private IP. Now, this EC, this EIC is only applicable for IPv4. It is still not applicable for IPv6. So this is one of the limitations that we have. Uh, okay. Now let me check back again over here. It's still in the pending state. Okay, so let's, okay, now it is, you can see now it is available over here. Now I will go back to my EC2 instance and I will click over here, connect. Now when I click on the connect, you can see by default it is coming over here, connect using EC2 instance connect. So you can see you cannot connect because browser based client, it must have a public IPv4 address. So you cannot do that. So even after putting the uh, after putting the public IP and all, then you need to connect it. But you can see this is a new option over here. Connect using EC2 instance, connect endpoint. So this is my private IP address. You might have seen over here. Okay, I'll go back to my EC2 instance. So I will just confirm that. Okay, I'll select the instance. You can see this is the private IP address, 172.31.9.235. So, easy to use user. Now here you can see it is telling you to select endpoint. You can see my endpoint one. I will select this. And default user, it will be for Amazon Linux, that is easy to user. And then click connect. So you can see over here, private IP. Here we go, that's it. So no need of passing any credentials or not public IP, nothing is required. Just using the private IP, you can use it over here. You can also do SSH if you want. So you can just uh, uh, watch my previous video, how to do SSH, all those things. So that's all. And this EIC. This is a new feature that is being recently added. So in order to avoid any billing and all, for maintaining the endpoint, there is no billing for this. You can keep your endpoints, but it's it's fine to just delete the endpoints in order to avoid any confusions. I will close my EC2 connect and just delete this endpoint. And I will go to the EC2 instance and just terminate in order to avoid any billing and all. I hope you like my video. Please do like, 
share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching